and welcome to Devon Street. Um, people also call it Little, In Little India. Um, it's the only place in Chicago where you're going to find traditional clothing stores, traditional markets, um, traditional jewelry stores, traditional restaurants. Um, Devon Street spans about 15 blocks but we're gonna focus on eight blocks today because that's what I focus on in my research. So, let's do it. So I chose Devon Street um, because of my mom. So I started coming to Devon actually when I was about six years old with my mom. Um, she loved Devon because it's so cultured, um, and so diverse in the middle of such a big city. Um, but this is where it all started at this restaurant Tiffin right here um, when I was six came here with my mom for the first time um, we come here at least twice a month every Sunday for their buffet and the best part of this restaurant is the whole ceiling is painted as a sky with all these clouds everything it's closed right now so I can't show you but this is it folks <laughs> So my research question that originally started as how does the Rogers Park slash Chicagoland area cater to Devon Street? But through my field work, it came to find that really it doesn't at all. So I incorporated how does Devon also incorporate the Rogers Park and Chicagoland area inside of their cultural community. So my main focus for how Devon incorporates the Rogers Park and Chicago land community was basically looking at languages and signage. Regal's, another place, traditional Indian name, but tells you open seven days a week in English, also tells you what they carry in English, but is a traditional Indian dress store. shop owned by a woman I actually got to interview in my paper named Sheila and she always puts out signs all in English blowout sale something definitely unique to American culture and she says it's because most of her customers at this store actually are tourists and usually are not people that live in this community so she makes sure to appeal to the people that she sees most at her store. When it comes to how the Chicagoland area incorporates Devon into its community, I came to find it really doesn't. For example, this sign right behind me. Even though it's in the middle of Devon Street, there's no translation. It's just your normal everyday street sign that you would see in Chicago. If you look across the street, Every street sign, roadway sign, any informational sign, you'll see the exact same thing. My results, Devon actually thrives off of the, the tourist attraction here. Um, and I got the opportunity to interview a couple of store owners and they said their daily customers are actually people from outside of the community who come over to Devon Street. So in return, Devon accommodates the English language because they see so many tourists and so many non-natives over here. However, the Rogers Park area does not do the same for Devon Street. They do little to accommodate the surrounding cultural community that they are very aware exists on Devon. The message to the community is that I wish you didn't have to adapt your culture to fit our standards. And the fact that you're so open to learning and speaking English in your stores and making sure we have translations in your signage and incorporating even American food in your shops and markets. I wish that the Chicago land area would in return cater to you in the same way. As well as there should be some kind of reference to Devon. When you drive in, Devon is a street that consists of more than just cultural communities. However, when you drive into Devon, there's not even something that makes you aware that you're entering a cultural community. Devon Street is such an open and welcoming place to any and all communities. I just want the Chicagoland area to make you feel the same way you make me feel when I come here.
but I'm so happy I got the opportunity to show off the beauty of Devon Street and all it has to offer and make some more people aware that this cultural community does exist.